What's going on, Dub Chasers? Today we got a, another install video coming at you. Today we are installing the Arm Motorsports throttle body pipe on the Mark 6 GTI. Uh, basically, Vince, where oh. does this pipe go? Throttle body to intercooler piping. Throttle body to intercooler piping. Um, it's just bigger diameter, more airflow, more air into the engine, more power. Uh, hopefully it should be pretty easy since we already did the intercooler upgrade kit. Um, we'll let you know how it goes. Hello! What are you doing, main mechanic? So there's a second T30 deep or under that you gotta get. <laughs> Other than that though, it's the two T30s. You gotta undo your MAP sensor. Uh, you gotta do it. On the Mark VI. Undo obviously the intercooler piping hose, but then that's it. You won't draw mine. Vince, what'd you have to do? Um. Because I was having trouble disconnecting your MAP, MAP sensor. Is it MAP or MAF? MAP, because yours is pressure based. Or wait, no. Well, down. Yeah, no, no, because you have both. You the M M M M M AF, mass airflow, MAP. Uh, I don't know what that one is nicknamed. Or I don't know what that one stands for. I forgot. But yeah. But so hopefully now I can get it a little bit easier from more room. like that we get it out now the tricky part ripping this thing out yeah. birthing this thing out the wazoo and hopefully not making me angry enough to just cut it Anything from the old one? Yes, we do. Yeah, you do. It's um. Where's the pipe? You stupid! And get your. So does this one have a little spiral thing in it or no? Oh, I There's doubt it. Clamps yeah, and that's bolts. Restrictive for airflow. Yeah, that's facts. Can I help you? Okay. You asked for the bolts. Not yet. Bolts. Your mom is bolts. Sponsored by arm. Wait, what? I do things in three. <laughs> yeah, dude, these captions are so good. Hey, Tyler, what are you looking at? Bex Media. You know, just the best photography account on Instagram. At bexmediainstagram.com. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you want to see some fire pics and some behind the scenes, you know, Bex Media. <laughs> behind the scenes? <laughs> just random pictures of the boys. Like, you get to see this cute picture of Vincent. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's why you follow Bex Media. True. <laughs> True. How's the uh, clamp difficult? Coming? These clamps are pretty darn fitted. <laughs> As they should be. Well, yeah, but like even like the bigger end of the clamp. Like I feel that I should be able to at least able to get it started here, but shoddy, mad tight. We had the same problem on the intercooler. We did. It's just arm, man. They just make tight, fitting, quality products. Andrew wants to make sure there's no leak. Do you want me to help? Like... Oh, he got it. Of course I got it. Yes, sir. I 
think that's gonna be. I Got hope it. Point. I hope this is the right angle. Well, let's test it. Oh, this dumb arm. Not arm the company, just the stupid arm itself. Because you have to work around fitting with it. Yep, you got it around up here. <laughs> well, then why is this arm so much lower? <laughs> oh, you need to push it up. Well, yeah, Let me see. how much. Did your mom, like, bring in her plants? Yeah. Yeah, Tyler, do you not see how cold it is outside? Plants yeah. will die. Yes, if it frosts, they will die. Mm, but that hose is, like, kinked right now. Yeah, the hose needs to turn a lot, but not on the throttle body pipe side. Undo the clamp. Sadly, yes. <laughs> no. Can you repeat that? We're going to wing it like we normally do here. True. But so do you remember what our motto is? If it fits, it ships. Good anywhere, in, anywhere in the country for a low frat rate? Or wait, no, I think that's UPS. We're gonna get copyrighted now. Oh, fuck them. Fight me, take me to court. Your ass will be eaten. Our motto is, it's good enough. It's always good enough. Move this. What's the game plan? Uh, trying to move this around a little bit. So we ran into a predicament. Our clamps were not helping us the way they were faced. So we stabbed one of my coolant lines. We did not stab it. We just put a lot of pressure on one of the connections, so it started to leak a little bit. We stabbed it. We really did not stab it. Go look right under and look right for holes. Are you scared that this is gonna fuck anything? <laughs> Let's just switch to this one so I can actually move this thing around. So, what has. What does it come to? Well, you see, it all started when I was born. From that, from that point, we've been on a very bad path. Game. Don't know if I mentioned it in this video, but we're doing two installs at once. This one we're working on the throttle body pipe of the Mark VI. This one, come out next, probably, yeah. is the JB4 install on the 7.5. Oh yeah, look that wiring. Y'all no, never seen wiring this clean, let me tell you. You'll see all the stuff we did in that. Y'all ain't never seen wire in this clean. Alright, what did you just mention that should be in the install video? Uh, MAP sensor facing downward, the connector. Uh, yeah. When you have it facing upward, it's on that big slant. Yep. So, you can't... Connection doesn't reach. Yeah. Yep. Have it facing downward. Also, I'm not sure if it got caught in this video or the uh, other one we were doing, <laughs> but... um. That just like was not lining up at all. Vince got into a little. Yeah, and then I got into a fight with it. Fight with the uh, little thing that's supposed to pull the pipe away from my fans. So he says he has a quick fix for it. Of course, master mechanic. All right, and. Uh... I can't really see it too well, but with a little bit of zip tie love, got it everything back in place. Well, we need to get everything back in place, but pipe is no longer touching the fans, which is good. 
So now we gotta get everything back put together. All right, everything is all put back together. Car's back on the ground. Master McConic. Uh, Experience. Uh, I don't like it. Yeah. Would it have been easier if we did it while we were doing the integral, intercooler upgrade? Because you have to think, the whole front of the car was gone. The core was still there, but forward a yeah, little but bit more. the fans were still there. Weren't they? The fans were still there. They were, the whole core was there. They were there, but they were moved up front because they were resting on that chair. So there was more space. The fans were too? Yes. Okay, I don't remember that. Um, in that case, I would say it's a little bit easier. But we really only had to do that because of the OEM delete kit, right? Yes. Only with the OEM delete kit. If you didn't do the OEM delete kit, you didn't even touch that. Yeah. So, if you did the OEM delete kit, it would make more sense to just do the whole thing, whole thing, whole setup with it. But if you didn't do the OEM delete kit, either way, that, that's still just a pain in the butt. Yeah. Definitely was a pain to get it to fit. Um, just getting it fitted, like, uh, how do I explain that? Um, getting it properly secured. Yeah, like getting everything properly lined up in the way that it's supposed to be, to where like the hose is angled slightly, so you have the pipe angled slightly, and so then when you actually get them pressed in, they all fit up together. It's just a lot of work. Yeah. Um, hopefully it makes a difference when we get it pro-tuned. True. Um, we'll find out. Thanks so much for watching the install video. Thanks so much to Master Mechanic Vince for putting up with all the trouble the Mark VI loves to throw at him. <laughs> um, make sure you like the video, comments if you have any questions or concerns or just want to say hi. Hello. We'll answer them. Um, but thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next install video.